Hi everyone. Prevention is better than cure. This is an undeniable statement. Everybody agrees it. Now we all know how deeply hurt, how angry and how much disturbed we are with the latest rape incidents which happened in Hyderabad. But as I said, prevention is better than cure. Now instead of showing our agony and emotions or like how uh, you know, like uh, harshly or crudely the culprit should be you know, punished, they should be killed, they should be burnt alive. As a human, these emotions are common. But will that stop this? Or will that at least control this? The answer is a big no. We all know how horrific the Nirbhaya case was. It was also done in a public service bus, six to eight people and under 18 students. After that also, the frequency is almost 10 to 15 per day in India. 10 to 15 per day. Now some gets very highlighted, some gets full coverage and some just disappears. At least in our state, the culprits were caught in 48 hours, but still so many cases, the culprits will not be caught for obvious reasons. Now, the main intention of uh, me posting this video is, we need to understand now how the prevention can happen. If you see a pattern, like says any, like a police says, like every crime will have a pattern and they need to understand that pattern because if they don't solve that pattern, it will be very difficult for them to solve another case. That's why they, they do that procedure. Even police are also human. They might have so much anger that they also want to shoot them on spot. But without having that investigation process, they cannot approach another case. Now, what is this pattern? Almost nine out of 10 cases, the culprits, these, you know, rogues, uh, whatever you call them, they are always in drunken state, purely drunken or drugged state, means they lose their senses completely. Now, why this is becoming so normal, like drinking all alcohol in public places, roaming in public spaces, of course, it's a personal choice to drink alcohol and nobody can comment on that. But obviously when he's doing that, he should go back to home and wherever his care of a dress is and he should sleep or whatever it might be, how he is allowed to roam in public. Because once he is in that state, the complete animal side of his or the cruel intentions will be, you know, instigating him. And why as a society, we are basically taking it as normal. How, how come, you know, like this can be, you know, controlled? That should be the major question. Yes, when we know that banning alcohol is not possible, but banning in public spaces, having serious reactions on them, and having special patrolling teams on them will definitely help. Not only a rape, a rape is the worst thing to happen, but other kind of molestations, passing comments, abusing women, all this are in a very weak made mindset. Now we can relate to the accidents which happen where people are dying like, you know, like uh, just like uh, a very small animal on the road. Why this happens again, nine out of 10 accidents, if we see everybody, either they are being dead or they are killing innocent people because they are in drunken state. And mostly the youth. I, uh, the same day when Priyanka died, we have seen uh, 12 in, uh, intermediate students who are just taking long-term coaching, are you know jumping the wall, they are going to celebrate uh, basically a friend's birthday, 12 people in a safari, fully drunken state, they hit a divider, on spot, two dead and eight are injured, etc, etc. So this is one major question. And the second following is the drunken state does not mean that it should be definitely, you know, is the only problem. The culture, where is the culture going towards? Where these cruel intentions come from, especially in this, in this kind of people? Why this culture, again, like abusing women, just seeing, objectifying women, patronizing uh, double meaning dialogues, social media, you know, taking just as a fun, uh, making TikTok videos, you, we, you know, like uh, uh, one of the couple broke up and they are abusing each other on a phone. That becomes a rage. People do DJ songs in it. Yes, I'm talking about something now, Sujana, etc. People talk, uh, it, it becomes a fun element in the society. They, they almost, and uh, when I say TikTok videos, I say it to the girls and boys as well as, like, how come they are uh, taking abusive language, uh, objectifying body parts, etc. as a fun element and how society is accepting it. Just like they're accepting violent video games as fun, just like any other thing. If you see the victims, 
so the culprits one of the culprits in uh, priyanka's case uh, you see the number plate number plate of this guy he is giving a statement to the society that is a danger for him is is a fashion or and uh, don't you think a police have encountered this vehicle at least once when we are not allowed to at least keep our number plate in what we call uh, in fancy uh, font it is fancy fonts uh, fancy fonts are uh, born by the rto how come these number plates these quotation quotations uh, this uh, are allowed is it it's directly giving a uh, what we call uh, a hint about this particular guy's mindset uh, definitely police should be given right police should be given right to question this kind of people this is socially not acceptable yes and if somebody thinks that law means 7 years punishment to 14 years punishment 14 years punishment to hanging or hanging going back to the shariat law with saudi arabia follows like killing them on the road if these kind of punishments will you know solve this problem a big no do you think any criminal while committing a crime will calculate the quantum of the punishment and do it no they are animals you just go through the uh, what we call uh, the complete uh, remand report of how the incident happened they burnt this body just to escape they were not sure whether priyanka is dead or not they are so dumb that they can't even check the pulse so that is why they did they burnt the body means every criminal thinks that either he will not get caught he will get ex escaped or that state of mind is completely upset as one of the director rgb codes this should be treated as a disease this mindset this weak mindset of objectifying women seeing women as only a uh, what we call a sexual desire should be treated and that can be only treated scientifically not big punishments of course law should be straight uh, strict more stringent severe action should be taken and our constitution is capable of doing it but this should be treated exactly like a disease a disease which should be clearly studied and everybody is equally responsible in colleges girls should girls should not uh, you know hang out with the boys who are using just abusive language as a fashion they should counsel them a sister to his brother as this is not gender related again a cruel mind is again not gender related so i think we as a society should take this as a collective thing not as and please do not uh, trust everybody on this media is uh, sympathizing but how how media is responsible what are the thumbnails they are keeping in this case on every rape case enta darunanga chesara chusara enta kiratanga chesara chusara how they are just you know making all that confidential details public just for the trp right are they socially so responsible and again trying to count how many hindus are there how many muslims are there in this case just because they know that people are divided people are divided especially youth who are having this uh, social media access are so so ignorant are so reactive and they also know that this memory is very very short term next thing something big happens we shift to that something sensation happens we shift to that youth by just commenting by showing hatred anger we cannot solve this this is a serious responsibility this is a very very a big issue to be addressed this cultural behavior education is irrelevant to that not every uneducated guy is so brutal this is completely something which is personal which is cultural how students how i mean how the people how Uh, they are behaving how the language is changing how their thought process is changing these kids are having access to pornography in the age of 6 or 8 just because of internet and social media right these criminals are learning how to escape from the crime just with the help of internet there is free of data but where it is going and how it is being misused so guys this is my opinion yes quantum of punishment no criminal will think no criminal will think how many years i'll be get penalized etc his instinct should be understood that should be priyanka by going by this case we are very clear that she was very innocent ame mohamata mamam champesi yes she was having 20 to 30 minutes where she was calling that guy where is my bike she called her sister but to just go into the public she was feeling shy that what people think of me what people bloody hell we need to enlighten this we need to understand we nothing comes bigger than self defense 
okay but whatever has happened definitely since two days it's haunting me and just i wanted to share all these things thank you